In this video I will be configuring Stripe layout disk pool in TrueNAS scale. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And now a few bits of information about Stripe layout. Each disk in the layout is storing data. A Stripe requires at least one disk. Also, if you only have one disk and you want to try out TrueNAS scale, this is the only layout that you can use. Also, there is no data redundancy. That means if one of the drive dies in the pool, all of the data in the pool is lost. And even though this layout has no data redundancy, it has the most storage capacity because it combines the capacity of all of the drives in the pool. And because there is no data redundancy, this configuration is very not recommended. And even though it's very not recommended, I like it myself and I use it a lot. I don't use it in TrueNAS Scale or ZFS, I use it in Microsoft Storage Spaces on my Windows client. It's not the same as ZFS, but it's very similar. And I can show you by going to the File Explorer. Here you will see this Q drive and this V drive. Both of them are simple volumes in storage spaces and simple volumes are very similar to ZFS stripe layouts. Basically, we have multiple drives, all of the drive capacity is combined, and if one of the drive dies, I lose all of the data in this volume. And to give you more information, I can go to my control panel and then storage spaces. And in here you will see that I have this virtualization volume that has the pool capacity of 5.4 terabytes and this uh, pool capacity comes from three Samsung SSD drives that are 1.8 terabytes each. Next we have the data volume and this volume is 3.6 terabytes and it's made of crucial drives that are 1.8 terabytes each. And like I said, this is not ZFS triples. But the risk is basically the same. For example, in this virtualization pool, if I lose one of the Samsung drives, I will lose all of the data in my V drive. So I will lose all of the virtual machines that I have in here. But I know this risk and this is not a problem for me. I have a mental backup of all of the virtual machines, so recreating them is not a problem for me. And I'm using this layout in here because I like the convenience of having a single volume from all of my drives and also I like to spread the load from my virtual machines throughout all of the drives that I have on my computer. And for all the important data, I have the network shares in here and this is Ubuntu server with ZFS and the network shares are basically ZFS mirror layouts. And I will be covering mirror layouts in the future videos. For now, let's go back to the Stripe layout. And now to create the Stripe disk pool, I will go to my TrueNAS scale server. Here I will click on storage and then create pool. First, I need to name my pool, so I will name it zpool. I will not be using encryption, so I will not select this and I will click next. In here, first I need to select the layout. So for this video, I will be selecting Stripe. Next, we need to select a disk size and type. As you can see, I have two 8 gigabyte SSD drive and 24 8 gigabytes HDD drives. And for this video, I will be using the HDD drives. So for the disk size, I will select 8 gigabytes HDD. Next, I need to provide width and also the number of VDEVs that I want to have in my disk pool. And this can be a bit confusing because width is the amount of hard drives that we want to use in a single VDEV. And that's why I made pictures here in the GitHub page. Here you can see the configuration with VDEVs 1 and with 4. So we have 4 drives in a single VDEV. So if I go back to my TrueNAS scale, you can see that currently I have 24 free 8GB drives. But if I select width 4, so 4 drives and number of VDEVs 1, you can see now, now I have 23 8 gigabytes drives left and also I'm creating one Stripe VDEV with four 8 gigabyte hard drives in it. And here you can also see that the pool capacity will be 32 gigabytes. Well, it's gigabytes, but gigabytes is very hard for me to pronounce, so I will be calling them gigabytes. So once again, we can go back to the GitHub page and visually see our current configuration. We have four wide single VDEV layout. And the thing is that with Stripe layout, the disk configuration doesn't matter that much. In here we had example one, one VDEV, four wide, that means we had four hard drives in a single VDEV. 
Now in the second example, we have two VDEVs, two white. That means that we have two VDEVs that have two hard drives each, but then the result is the same. All of the hard drives capacity is combined and is available for us to use. As you can see in the example one, we get capacity 32 gigabytes and same goes for the example two. And we can double check that by going back to TrueNAS scale and in here changing the width from four to two and number of VDEVs from one to also two. And the only thing that changes in here is that now we have two Stripe VDEVs with two eight gigabyte hard drives, but the total capacity once again is 32 gigabytes. So no matter what configuration we use, we get the same capacity and same redundancy. If one drive is dead in this configuration, we we'll lose all of the data. And if the one drive dies in this configuration, we we'll lose also all of our data. And also once again, using four drives, we can have another configuration is that we can have four VDEVs, one wide. So we have four VDEVs that have one drive each. And same as before, the capacity of all drives is combined, so we get 32 gigabytes of total capacity, but if one drive dies, we lose all of our data. And now to double check this configuration, once again, we can go to TrueNet scale, change width to one and the number of VDEVs to four. So now we have four Stripe VDEVs, one eight gigabyte hard drive each, and the total capacity is once again, 32 gigabytes. And this was the last example in my GitHub page. So I will be finishing this configuration. I will click on save and go to a review. And everything seems to be fine in here. So I'll click on create pool. Then I will click on confirm and continue. And now we have our Z pool. Here we get this warning message saying no redundancy. But because this is a Stripe pool, this is as expected. Now, one last tip is that if you're creating a pool using SSD drives, make sure to turn on trim or otherwise your SSD drives will get very slow. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.